you made it to level two, deeper questions leading to deeper answers. I'm Tomas Garza, and I'm here to help you decide to transform. I'll be setting the pace for the process to support your unfolding. Learn and commit to a practice that brings simplicity and an awareness of what is ready to be released. Join me now and allow the experience of a deeper sense of love. Well, hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Decide to Transform. I'm your host, Tomas Garza, and I'm so delighted to bring you solo episodes here in season five of the show, short and concise. And I'm really happy to be able to step up and take the microphone. It is a tremendous honor for me to share my thoughts, to share my experience with you in hopes that this may inspire you to seek truth for yourself and to let it be as it is. In other words, to help you on your journey of awakening. Yeah, just that. Because I, nor can any teacher actually, wake you up. We cannot shake any of you awake, which is a good thing, by the way, (laughs) isn't it? We cannot shake any one of you awake, nor do we even mean to do that. What we can do, however, is share our experience with you. I don't heal you However, I'm deeply committed to healing the illusion of separation. That's why I'm talking into this microphone right now. What I hope to do is inspire you to heal yourself. That's the deal. I don't heal you. I can't wash away all of the veils that you've interposed between yourself and the truth, because I've got my own that I'm in the process of washing away, right? We all do. I'm here that in hopes that what I may have to say, which is completely unscripted, by the way, may hit home with you and that today will be the day that you choose to drop some of your defenses. That's what this episode is all about here on the show today, is dropping your defenses. I've titled it Disarm. Now, some of you may know that there's a Smashing Pumpkins song that I love called Disarm, and I'm not going to sing it for you because my voice is much uh, different than Billy Corgan's voice, yeah. Which you may love or you may not love, but uh, anyway, you won't hear me sing. What I do want to talk about is the verb disarm. Spirituality is disarmingly simple, and that is the point. The point of extending love, the point of prayer to God or a higher power or your guide or guides, the point of forgiveness, the point of acts of kindness, the point of anything loving is so that we may drop our defenses, so that we may get out of our own way when you pray to your guide or guides, even if it's the universe itself, it's the same concept, isn't it? You are saying, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Help, please. (laughs) You may not use those words exactly, but that's exactly what's going on. You're getting out of your own way. You're saying, in different words, perhaps, of myself, I can do nothing. Little self, yeah. You're appealing to your higher self. You're appealing to God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. You're appealing to angels, right? Your guide or guides, 
whoever, whatever that looks like for you. It's an act of disarming. It's dropping your pretense, isn't it? It's dropping your defense mechanism. This defensive shield or wall that says, I know all and only I know what's best for me and I'm going to run into the ground with my rational intellectual thinking mind. I'm going to plan it and it better go exactly as I plan or else I'm going to throw a tantrum. We behave that way, don't we? Even as adults. Spiritual practice is all about disarming. When you forgive somebody, for example, you're overlooking a perceived difference. You're recognizing that that person is not only similar to you, but they're the same as you. They are you. Your needs are one and the same. Love. It's simple, disarmingly so. The verb to disarm is all about dropping our defenses, dropping the pretense that we hold that we know how everything should go and can manipulate and orchestrate all of life. Are you a control freak? <laughs> How's that working out for you? Asking for a friend. Right? <laughs> Disarm. Spirituality is disarmingly simple. You have a choice in the present moment of just two options. Only two. Love or fear. Everything else is a derivative of those. Which choice you make governs your entire subsequent experience. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. As we've seen in a past episode, and I'll no doubt repeat many times during this season of podcasts, the power of choice cannot be taken away from us. If we've chosen poorly in the past, we can choose wisely right now in the present. Right now. It's beautiful. It's all about disarming, dropping our defenses. What is the ego but a defense? It's a wish for things to be other than they are. That's it. It's a wish for things to be other than they are. It's a defense mechanism so that we can keep running around, playing small, thinking we've got it all figured out, when in fact we're clueless. Really, no lie, clueless. Of myself, I can do nothing, yeah? Seriously. So, spiritual practice, in whatever form that takes, is disarming. We're voluntarily laying down our weapons. We're voluntarily laying down or setting aside our spears, swords, automatic rifles, shields. We're leaving that to the side so that truth can simply be as it is because it has never changed. Who you are has never changed. Spiritual practice is about this process of disarming so that we may awaken to reality. All right. When I set out to record this series of podcast episodes, which is season five in the long-running history of Decide to Transform, I said I would be concise and, well... I'll be concise today. I invite you to visit my website, tomasgarza.com, or to email me with any questions that you may have, tomas 
T-O-M-A-S at TomasGarza.com. Feel welcome to do that. I am happy to read people's questions right here on the show or even entertain a, an entire question as a whole episode. If that's something that appeals to you, definitely please reach out to me. Also, you'll see that I offer counseling, coaching, and spiritual mentorship services. So again, it's tomasgarza.com. And I want to invite you to follow me also on social media. I'm on Facebook as Tomas Garza, and my Instagram handle is at Tomas Garza Teacher. All one word, Tomas Garza Teacher. You can find me in either place. Feel welcome to DM me, guys. And thank you, as always, for tuning in. And, well, this is about disarming. So drop your defenses today. Yeah, I want to leave you with that. Drop your defenses today. And I'll see you right here on the next show.